Hi there. Welcome to Quillian's, world's first AI-powered platform for building questions, quizzes, and assessments. Quillian's harnesses the power of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to create the right questions from your training or teaching material within seconds. Creating questions has never been this easy. I'll show you how it works in a few simple steps. First, of course, let me go to app.quillians.com and log in. This is where I will submit the content on which I need to create questions. Now let me pick something to paste in Quillian's. The content I paste can be anything, as long as it's in textual format, a chapter, an article, a website page, or even the transcript of a video. But let's start simple. I've got a short article on World War II here. I want to create a quick quiz on this for my class. I'll just select this whole thing and copy it. Okay, now let's go back to Quillian's and paste my content. Quillian's tells me I have about a thousand words, which is great. Let me give it a title, World War II, and pick the domain, History. That's it. My goal is to help my students recall key dates of war events, cite names of the nations involved, and understand simple arguments such as why Germany failed to take over Moscow. Now it's time to choose the keywords. Quillian's has shortlisted some important keywords from my content for creating questions. I'll tell Quillian's which of these are the most important for me. That way, Quillian's will know where to focus its question. Let's see. I don't think the word war should be a keyword. It probably shows up every few sentences. Won't make for good questions. So, I will remove it as a keyword. It looks like the word allies isn't selected. I think that one's pretty important. So let me select it. I can also add a new keyword that's not in this list. It looks like Normandy is missing from the keywords, so I'll add it. Finally, I am ready to proceed. Now, I need to review the content. This is where Quillian's identifies the parts of my content which could use a bit of tweaking so that the AI algorithms can smoothly process everything. All I have to do is follow Quillian's recommendations to make sure my content is ready for the AI. Looks like my content hasn't scored very well. Let me show you how simple it is to raise the score. This highlight tells me that the sentence is too long. Let me split this into two. This looks like an incomplete sentence. I need to complete it. I think I've just forgotten to add a period here. That's easily fixed. Now I need to replace the he here with Hitler from the dropdown. I don't have to replace all the pronouns. This one doesn't really matter. I'll leave it alone. Let's see how my content fares now. Hmm, we're at 78%. Still not fully ready, but I'm feeling rebellious today. Let's continue anyway. That's it, time to get my questions. Voila, I've got a bunch of questions on my World War II article. That was pretty fast. The best part is, now I can tweak these questions as I please. Let's take a look. This one's a pretty useful question. It'll make sure my students don't forget when World War II was fought. This question's a bit off. The choices aren't great. German conquest of Germany doesn't make much sense. No problem, I'll take care of that. Let's delete Germany and replace it with a better answer choice, say, Sweden. This one isn't all that relevant. I'm just going to delete it. This is a good question to get my students thinking. It'll help them understand the situation around the Battle of Dunkirk. This is a valuable question too. It'll make sure my students can cite the key players in World War II. Here's a cool trick if you want to see only one question type at a time. Well, I think I'm done for now. I'll go ahead and save what I've got. Done. I'm also ready to download this question set. That's it. Now this file is mine to keep. I can take these questions and create a knowledge check for my e-learning course. I can convert it into a neat little word file, print it out, and make a quiz for my students. Or I can just convert it to a QTI file and plug it into an LMS. And I can always come back to my dashboard in Quillian's. Just a click and I am back to a question set I've already created. That's it. I have got a neat set of questions on World War II using Quillian's.
Now it's your turn. Why don't you give it a try? Get Quillian's now.